Saturday. What you guys doing? All right, I finished the book last night, Samantha. I finished it. I finished it, finally. It took me about an hour. I didn't have that long, but... Morning, what's going on? When I wake in the morning and I look outside and I see the sunshine and I get real high because UV rays release serotonin and I put a smile on my face and think about the day when I know it's not going to be cloudy and it chases the blues away and I yeah, it was a cute ending. It really was a cute ending. I was so happy. It was cute. It was a cute book. I didn't think, like, people were like, it started off slow. I didn't really think so. I thought it was good. Hi, Bob. What's going on? Happy Saturday to you. Anybody have any fun things to do today? Um... I had to get up and get my shit going because I got a soccer game this morning for the Wesley men, the Wesley men, and then that's it. So I don't know if we're going to go on a date night. I have to pick up some of my wine and uh, that's it. Morning from Maine. Happy weekend. Uh, what else? Tomorrow, early game for... Delaney since I'm not going to her stuff today. So, you know, just an auntie living the life of an auntie. You know what I mean? Auntie lives the life of an auntie. I love my babies. You know, I love my babies. I went to the grocery store yesterday. Okay, so I had the cutest, for those of you who didn't hear my live, who didn't hear the live yesterday, it's the cutest thing that happened. I was shopping. You know, I rarely go into the grocery store. Normally, I'm always, um, koozies, fun. Normally, I always do orders because I just don't like people. You know what I mean? Um, and uh, so I see this guy and he's looking at me, you know, and I'm just going on my way. I looked at him like, do I know him? No. And then we met face to face in an aisle. And he said, give me a minute. I said, all right, I'll give you a minute. Let me know if you need any help. And he goes like this. And I said, I'm just giggling. And he says, the Salinger's right. I said, ding, 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 ding. He's like, I have to let you know. My wife and I, watch you and Dan Friday night that's our thing that's like our date night <laughs> so he said okay my wife would kill kill me if I didn't get a picture so we took a selfie and then we took he made me do one by myself <laughs> so that was kind of fun um, it's the first time I've been asked for a selfie <laughs> I'm looking like this you know I was like whatever um, and he just giggled he giggled walking away. He's like, that's just great. Yeah, so he was like, just in case my wife wants one without me in it. <laughs> uh, Muffy, remember that, bitch. Remember that. <laughs> uh, anyhow, that was kind of a fun thing. Um, you know, and people always want to critique the people, right? Who are like me and butting up and coattails, riding Dan and Ed, you know, <laughs> the only person I'm riding in that scenario is Daniel, <laughs> and that's very rare. <laughs> However, um, I don't see myself right any other way than just me. I don't see myself as somebody famous or, you know, whatever people say. I don't see myself that way. I just see myself as a crazy old woman just having fun in life and just trying to get by. So 
when people look at me that way, it gives me a little tickle because I, I just laugh. I'm like, you guys, I am nothing special. I am just me. Um, so it is kind of fun sometimes because, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's a hoop. It's a hoop for sure. Um, remember, TikTok tapping is clapping. Thumbs up on YouTube um, would be greatly appreciated. It helps get the algorithm moving. It helps people see that you're live. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, and that's the funny thing. Because my Zoomies, um, <laughs> my Zoomies have been a part of my house for the last year and a half plus, right? So, they are around me more than <laughs> some of my own family. Um, you know, I'm in and out and, you know, showing my face listening oh no stephanie oh janet that's right you're on your daughter's thing well come here stay here for a bit um so you know they don't really see anything different in me either right i'm one of them i'm not some you know social media person i'm just a friend like everybody else in that room so it is funny you know uh and I think a lot of you also, <laughs> just a dork. I am a dork. They see more of my insides than anybody. That sounded weird. The inside of my house functioning. It is chilly today, Samantha. I think the high today is only gonna be 60 degrees. So it's gonna be a little chilly. Hey, Heather, fancy seeing you here. Um, Lily. You get, why do I read comments? People are so ignorant. You know, people are so ignorant. I posted a really cute video this morning of Ed. He dances a little bit. And people go on. I can tell by your tone, you can't wait for that man to die. How the fuck can you tell from my tone all that? right when you don't even know me they rebuttal well i've watched you uh you're one of those trolls that sits in the back um and waits when you're having a bad day to strike i see that you're an idiot then you got the women on there going of course she always has to say my house no fucking shit it's my fucking house <laughs> he knows it's not his house you dumbasses he knows it's not his fucking house hi cindy he asks specifically but y'all too stupid and closed-minded to hear the conversations because you're too focused on me. You're too focused on me. Open your fucking brain. Listen. Clean out your ears. Um, reality orientation. Look it up. Understand it. And know that's what Ed needs. If you don't want to do that, go that far. Get the fuck out. Stay on the Precious Dance page. Those are the Precious Dan lovers. You know, I love Dan. He is the best man ever. The best son, the best husband, and all she does is humiliate him in public. Blasphemy. <laughs> no shit, I'm humiliating him. It's called joking, having fun, fucking bantering. Get it through your iron fucking glad stuffed up brains. But those people ain't gonna change their mind because they're too focused on me. You're welcome for being obsessed. I'm glad I give you a reason to wake up in the morning. And I'm glad I can be your punching bag. You know what I mean? 
there's new idiots every day. There's the same idiots every day. So on and so forth. So I'm glad I give them something to talk about. Let's give them something to talk about. They don't understand my relationship. Stop focusing on Danielle Salinger. Focus on the whole video. You know what I mean? Uh. <laughs> yeah, you guys like. There's 96 of you in here, only six likes. TikTok, keep hitting. Keep poking, keep tapping. Um, so, unbeknownst, majority of the idiots out there. My husband and I are going on 27 years of marriage. We've been together longer than that. Nobody's going anywhere. It's not called public humiliation. It's called bantering, having fun with the morning dialogue. It's making fun of my husband and his morning dialogue. Me caveman. You cave woman. Give me the vagina. Yes, I'm gonna make fun of that. As I should make fun of it. And if your husband talks to you that way, you should also make fun of it. Me caveman. Me want woman. I want vagina and a story. Get in bed, spread your legs, and be wedding. Yes, when you act like that in my house, that's the response you're gonna get. You're gonna get me to take out my video. Dan is very infamous for giving me my scripts, right? I don't have to work hard with him. He gives it to me on a silver platter. Right? You're gonna act that way. I'm blasting your ass and your inappropriate way to talk to your wife in the morning time. No shit, Sherlock. Maybe those women like to be talked to that way. <laughs> Maybe their husbands do the same thing. Oh, their husbands, I mean boyfriends, and uh, maybe they're abused, I don't know. I pull it. Um, so he gives me the content. I make it, he participates. We banter, we laugh. You know what I mean? Normal for us. Might be not normal for you, but took a look at my video library. He is participating. How do people not see that? Hey Kay. So, the people who relate, the people makes it giggle, you love it. And I appreciate you for getting it. Me keep on. Name Dan. I want my woman spread eagle four times a day. Be ready, be willing, and always be participating. Piss <laughs> uh, me off, you make me not give it up. It does, Lori. <laughs> it does, Lori. That's why he whines about blueberries. <laughs> you know, a little bit of blue balls. <laughs> well, that's the first thing he says. Bring me that vagina. Okay, here we go again. Every day we have this conversation. Can we not do that? Guess what? Every day he does the same thing. Uh huh. So, guess what? I'm gonna video him. <laughs> yes. Or I do this. If I'm talking in the middle of my Zoom, He's, <laughs> he's trying to get it in because he knows as the day progresses, he ain't getting it. <laughs> His blueberry tattoo. A little romance does go a long way. A little bit. That's not romance. Wake it up, grab my crotch. Not romance. Man, I don't care if it's romance to you. How does your partner feel about it? Your partner wants to be validated. Your partner wants to feel loved. Your partner wants to feel connected. Your partner wants to know you validate their feelings. 
Let me tell you something. If you don't listen to them and you don't try, y'all can take care of your own selves. Just saying. Hi, Johnny. Hi, life. What's going on? Especially as you age, right? Especially as you age. I'll take a waffle. Do you got fresh strawberries? I like fresh strawberries with butter. Um, there he is. Me caveman. Bring me vagina now. Why are you on treadmill? Must have vagina first thing in the morning. No shit, he's staring at me eating right now. <laughs> I must penetrate you. You must be ready for me right now. <laughs> sure do, fresh cream. Ooh. Cream, get on top. Nope. <laughs> cream. Uh. Anyhow. <laughs> At 70. I'm just glad I wake up. I get it, Mikey G. I get it. Good morning, cream. <laughs> Nothing stops, cream. <laughs> Spread it on top. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, There's the pizza. I was looking for that last night. Best part of waking up is Mary Blueberry in your cup. Gina. Best part of waking up is Jana in your mouth. It can't be in your cup. Jana has to be in your mouth. You can cream in a cup. Sorry, that was Heather's fault. She was talking about fresh cream. It's such an inopportune moment. Do you have blueberries, Heather? Uh, um, Shadoobie. Shadoobie. Should you be pop boop? Yes, TB. Women are dropping all over his feet. Cause he's such a great man. Women think he's sexy. You know how many women said last night, I would lick you. I would pleasure you. I love you. Dan, you're looking sexy. You glowing tonight, bruh. Yeah. Oh good. I like berries. No, I put the pizza out here because I couldn't, um, didn't fit. So he's pissed. <laughs> uh, um, they do on the lives. Last night, GSR, I'm annoyed all the time. Good morning, Taz. <laughs> um, so, yes, they did last night. They, <laughs> I'm like, take him. Please, that's right, because they don't live with them. No refunds, no returns. Don't try it, don't do it. <laughs> Good. Uh, I didn't annoy Dion. I have been up for hours. This man's been sleeping, cuddling with his dogs. Uh, <laughs> I'm sexier than Dan. That's right, TV. I got my shit together. I don't got a big beer belly hanging over, pretending that I'm not overweight. I don't have moves. His moves are bigger than mine. Uh, G ball, I'm looking in July. July, like the weekend of the 11th. He sleeps with his dog. When I leave the bed in the morning, Baxter comes out and he eats, and then Baxter goes back um, on the bed and cuddles with you <laughs> in my place. You know what I mean? He gets some loving. He gets some loving, y'all. Uh, anywho. Um, <laughs> G-ball. I don't know. I'm feeling silly. Baxter is a black lab. That's his lover. His secret lover. His secret lover. Baxter lover, that's what he is. They cuddle together, and Dan whispers sweet nothings in his ear. Every morning, they have a bond so close, nobody wants to know. 
Anywho. Um. Oh, shit. Oh, that's scary. I need your badge right now. Immediately. My badge? Vagina. Let's go. We're going to take a little break. Sorry, guys, but... Uh, Dan farts more. It's You know, it's the man thing. It's the man thing. It's Saturday morning. There he And, is. you know, Saturday morning, you got to start Saturday morning off right. Vagina right? and your cup. Let's, yeah, that's good. Um, well, your dog came and woke me up. So when you come in here, your dog came and onto my bed and started barking at me. When that upset Baxter, who was on the other side of me, and they started arguing over me. So your dog woke me up. You need a pocket pussy. Why would I need that? I have this one right here. This one's complicated. It's, it's complicated. It's old. It's rather defective at this point. <laughs> is there? Is it warrantied? That's the question. No. Is it warranty? They're not warrantied. If you don't get a warranty on that thing dudes before you get married you better go to like lloyds of london and ensure that damn thing because when stuff goes wrong there's not i mean it's like a bad 747 there's not a lot you can do you know <laughs> and, and the parts are getting older they just don't have replacements so <laughs> it's closed for the season but i've invented a new the new you guys have helped coin the new term blueberry you know unicorn is like in a menage a trois relationship with a unicorn as a single girl, it's very rare. Well, a blueberry would be that any girl who's not a scammer, that's your blueberry. Everyone out there on the dating sites and on the all that stuff, they're all scammers. So you're everyone's searching for their blueberry, which is a non-scammer internet girlfriend. That's a blueberry, a non-scammer internet girlfriend. Mike's... <laughs> His warranty expired in 2004. The wife's. See, Dion, you got more time than that. Be happy with what you got, but you have great memories. Don't if forget I about that. Nordstrom, I'd be able to return you. Go, go, go! Remember, reminisce about those good times we had. Yeah. He can't. I wish he would learn to do lives by himself. I really think that he would enjoy it, but he can't. He needs me to give him words, to give him a purpose, to give him hope, humor, and freedom on the internet. Uh, I think everybody's a scammer these days. I believe today, in this world, everybody wants something. Uh, yeah, he walks, you guys. He walks three out, uh, three miles, three to four, sometimes seven miles a day. Um, he just needs to stop eating at night. His biggest issue is the eating. Um, so it doesn't matter how much he's going to walk, the majority of it comes from what you put in your mouth. Um, <laughs> my pussy has been in a coma for a long time. Um, see, so he needs to stop watching. Goodman. My dogs teach bad habits. Don't let your dogs watch my dogs because they will for sure do the shit that my animal, people remind me every day what a shit show my house is, how I can't train anybody. I'm waiting for it to die. My animals are disgusting. I'm a filthy, human, vile woman because I let all that shit go on in my house. So, no shit, Goodman. The disclaimer on the bottom of my videos always says, do not do and or I'm not responsible for any bad habits. Uh, uh, well, he can do sports. He likes sports. <laughs> Please, send him a message, Mike Drop. Send him a message. Bruh, you want to talk sports? Let's do it. Uh, okay, you know, women, we we get very insecure, right? Um, and I know as we age, aging alone is an insecurity for us. Um, and, um, and not to mention when we start gaining weight and we get more blue. 
I got blueberries on my mind. Um, and it's hard because, you know, men can age gracefully. They can get old and people find them attractive. But for us, we're always worried, you know, because society has made us feel insecure. Other men have made us insecure, feeling like our husbands aren't gonna love us, you know, when we're older, heavier, and dried up. But a true man, right? A true man stands by his woman. A true man who loves his wife, his family, respects his lover, his partner, and his best friend, it doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter what you look like. They love you for who you are. That's it. Time to be a real woman, cooking, cleaning, and being there for a man. Um, ooh, God, that's ugly. You need to put yourself back in the 1950s when women did that shit. Um, that's an ugly way to be. Just um, in theory, it's ugly. You ain't gonna find a woman with those descriptions. Most women don't believe in their role of being a cook, a cleaner, a lover, a mother. They want equal partnerships, right? They want equal partnerships. So I suggest you change your ugliness or else you're gonna be alone for the rest of your life. There may be some thirsty women. If you got money, hey, they'll do whatever. But most strong ass women and women that are respectable would never would never. Hi, Rick. Somebody said that, yeah. There's a lot of ignorant men out there. My woman, do your job. Serve me. Cook for me. Clean my house while I sit on my fat ass, drinking beer and eating food. Bring me snacks. Bend over when I want you to. Oh, yeah, that's a lovely fucking marriage um so anywho yeah he can buy a wife overseas those women will do anything for you um anywho i hate people who say stupid ass shit that pisses me off uh yeah as a female I, the gender expectations have gotten better but i think some men are still um, chauvinistic. I think they're still back in the principles of how their family was raised. And they can be alone for all I care. Misogynistic, right? Those are the wonderful traits to look for in a man. Fuck. Um, so. Why are you so obsessed with me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The last one. Uh, ooh, trippy shades. You need some help. I got rid of them. Uh, hold on, I gotta get rid of the Trump 24 guy. We don't do fucking ignorant political st statements either. Uh, screaming baboon. It is, um, been raining. We rained all day yesterday. And, um, today it's going to be 60 degrees, but we start g climbing up next week. Uh, where am I from? I'm from the land down under. Yep. Out east in Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> Down on the bayou, I lived with my banjo and my boat. I raised myself in the reeds of the swamp with the alligators, the mosquitoes. I hustled my way through my childhood. I fed myself. I lived in a shack, but I did it. Nothing but my banjo and my earthly friends with my swamp my gators and everything else in between 
It was a difficult ride, but I did it, and I'm here to prevail. As a Southern girl, I have done my time, I've committed no crime, and I am proud of what I did. <laughs> I made moonshine when I was really struggling. You have to make the underground moonshine. Um, it was the best in town. I had clients from Kalamazoo all the way from Alabama. Oh, everywhere. Everybody loved my moonshine. It's been so long since I made any, but I had a whole system. I had my gators. Some of them friended me, believe it or not. They didn't eat me. They loved me. They protected me and they helped me in my underground scheming. <sighs> Um, Kalamazoo, Michigan. <laughs> uh, am I going to stop? Alicia, are you going to stop? Really, that's the question you should ask yourself. Are you going to stop harassing people? Are you going to stop being ugly, unkind, right? To people who are on the internet sharing their life. Are you going to stop? That is the only question you should be asking yourself because I'm here for a purpose. I'm here to share stories. I'm here to help. What are you here for? To be miserable? To project your ugliness onto me and other people? Girl, you be tripping. My purpose. My purpose is to annoy Dan, always. Always. He annoys me, I annoy back by video and his ass. You know what I mean? Christopher, thanks for the heart. I needed that. I'm feeling a total eclipse of the heart coming on Monday. So it just fuels my energies towards the changing of the electrical currents that are getting ready to happen in our country. Is everybody ready? Everybody ready? Do you feel the energy? Do you feel it? Do you feel? that energy some of us are more privy to that than others it invades the soul it changes our course of the day i feel it i know it's coming and it's a wonderful feeling the electrical currents the changing of the earth's atmosphere it's there praise allah it's there gandhi thank you for letting me feel the strength Filling it up with energy, love, kindness, and sexuality. Dan, watch out, buddy. <laughs> I'm starting to tingle. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, there's all these conspiracy theories, you know, of the lunar, summer, low solar, solar eclipse. What the fuck is it? Solar? I don't know. It's something during the day. I don't fucking care. That's a once in a lifetime. It's gonna change. I feel it penetrating my soul. We're gonna all change in that moment. Y'all hang tight. Feel it. Allow it to penetrate your body. Open up. Don't look too closely though, unless you got your glasses. But open up. Let it get inside. You will be a changed human. <laughs> Hi, Gloria. <laughs> you will be a changed human if you will sit outside. Put your bathing suit out. You know, put your bathing suit out. Or just stand outside naked. Stand outside naked. Let everything get you. Put some SPF 5000 on just in case you'll get torched. I don't know what's gonna happen, but do it. Lay down on the cement, spread your body like a starfish. Let it get into you, especially the miserable people out there. It might help change your ugliness. It might change your course of the day. It might change you from misery to happiness. 
But I think you gotta be naked on the cement for that one. Stratosphere, no. No. Open up. Christopher's ready. Men, I'm gonna tell you what you're supposed to do. Women, if you want the full effect, need to be naked, starfish pose. Men, get naked, grab your ankles. The only way it penetrates you is through your ass. So you gotta move, point your ass up to the sky. Point it. Goodman, I know you need that. Get naked, get your ass up to the sky. It will help. The <laughs> Uh, uh, anyway, <laughs> men, it's the only way that can help. It's a cure-all too. You've got illnesses, it's gonna cure your symptoms, right? You have disease, feast and famine, spread it open. Let it get in. It's gotta get in through the undercarriage orifices or it doesn't work, right? Be free, be loved. Want it, feel it, enjoy it. I think it follows up with an orgasm. I do, I believe there are speculations. If you open yourself up to the inner powers of the world, you too can have an orgasm from the energies invading your ass and your vagina. Women have two holes. We're lucky because we get extra penetration Men, that's why you gotta aim it in a correct direction up to the sun. <laughs> yes, Mike, good men. That's the point. It's during the eclipse. And while you are sitting there wide open, you sing total eclipse of the heart. Yep, that helps. Helps the whole thing come together. There you have it. Um, ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, eh tú? Uh, I've been running for three miles on a 1% incline at a 5.1. I'm in the training for a cobble body. So, I'm changing things up, I'm shaking it up, I'm twisting it up, and I am trying. I too will be out on the cement naked. I'm gonna bring Ed out there too. Maybe it'll cure his memory loss. Um, I just gotta position him in a different way because I don't think he can do the position I said. <sighs> Fuck, I'm sick. I'm sick minded. I sure am. Anywho, um, so yeah, I'm training, I'm changing things up. <sighs> I'm getting old, people. My skin's hanging. My soul is leaving my body. My vagina's flapping and my titties aren't high. But, you know, that's just the way it happens. Uh, so, I gotta try my best to get everything in the right direction. Labia have lost the battle. There's no help for those things unless I get them turned off. The jowls, I can always do a facelift, but I don't wanna be under the knife. How about that threading? Uh, anywho, I'm trying to get rid of the bat wings. You know, that shit comes with age too. Uh, the spider veins, well, a little bit of a tan will cover those puppies up. Uh, it's hard being a woman. <laughs> Men are like, what's wrong with the flapping curtains? I like my curtains to be flapping. I like the noise they make. It's the best thing ever. Bring on the flapping labia. <laughs> wings. Where do you want your bat wings? On your arms or your cooter? Um, so, yeah, man, what's wrong with hanging labia? More enjoyment <laughs> for me, <laughs> you know? Um, it sings a song. It sings songs. It claps when she's happy. It claps when she's mad. <laughs> it depends though. <laughs> if she's dry, well, there's not much she's sad. <laughs> there's not much she can say with that. The changing of the hormones. Oh, 
women, it sucks to be us. I know it, I feel it, I see it, and I know it. So, you know, good morning, Christy. You walked into flapping Libya. Uh-huh. Clapping, slapping, and flapping. Oh, everything. <laughs> the running you think helps you. Your internal organs start dropping out of your vagina. Your labia start hanging, your jowls start hanging. Your titties, well, if you have big ones, they also start hanging. Spider veins. Ah. <laughs> Running is so good for you, y'all. Keep up the good work. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh-uh. Said no one ever. I don't know. <laughs> it's flabby meat. People like flabby meat. I'm just saying. People like, I love carne asada. You know? Carne asada is a yummy meat. It's thin, it's flappy, it hangs, and it can be used as a curtain. So I'm gonna like to say that my down yonder is carne asada. Carne a ho ho, as my friend says it. 60 tomorrow, happy birthday. You know what he told? Rare roast beef is delicious. It is, it is. Have any of you Where's JSR at? Are you here, girl? Have any of you ever eaten cow poussée? That's a thing. It's a delicatessen. You heard me. Cow poussée. Yep. I saw it on TikTok. My friend sent it to me because they, you know, I love talking about the vagina. Um, and I had already seen it. Cow poussée. You've eaten it? Oh. Uh, yeah. It's a thing. It's a thing. Look it up. Put cow pousse, cow vagina in the TikTok and we'll show you. It's a cow vagina. They cut it out. It's dark. They shave off the skin to make it light. They also shave it because it, believe it or not, you eat bull bulls and you haven't had cow pousse. Um, it's a delicatessen. They actually shaved it. There was a little sprinkling of hair around it as well. They shaved it. They scraped it. They opened it up, they boiled it with, um, I didn't know though. Um, no, it's a, oh, the bull balls. Yeah, those are called blue mountain, blue rocky, blue mountain rocky oysters, something like that. Anywho, um, it's a thing. No shit, it's there. Um, I'm telling you, sheep balls are nice with garlic sauce. <laughs> Can you honestly, let me tell you something. So they ate it after it was boiled and pickled and fermented, I don't know. Um, they were eating it with chopsticks. They sliced it up nice and thin. They dipped it in a, a sauce um, and they loved it. You eat anus, stomach, liver, lung, heart, eyes? What the fuck, girl, is wrong with you? How do you go, ooh, this anus tastes good. God, I love me some colon. I love me some colon. Y'all, it's even better when there's a little bit of shit still in there adds a little bit more delicacy no <laughs> you <laughs> i like me a little pumping hard i like it bleeding a little like a pumping and i like it squirting i love the eyeballs they're a little bit squirty <laughs> pop <laughs> yep they're good they're delicious i love liver liver is also very bloody <laughs> What? Fuck. GSR, I knew. That's why I asked you if you had the pousse. The cow pousse. Um, <laughs> liver is great. Said no one ever. My family ate liver. Liver and onions. It was pasted. GSR, you'd like that. It was a pasted liver pate. It looked like something I opened up to feed my fucking cats. No, no, thank you, <laughs> yeah, Mason. I think I'll eat my carne asada burrito. No pousse, no colon, no liver, no eyeballs, no intestines, and no anus. So my family would eat it on a, um, a piece of bread. Danielle, little Danielle, uh-uh. Come on, just try a little bit, you'll love it. Uh-uh, 
It had that smell. It was like a, a material, it was like blood smell. Dried fucking blood with a mixture of herbs and spices. <laughs> GSR, uh, you need to get the cow pousse. I wonder if you can get it. And then you can boil it up and get the recipe. Chitlins. <laughs> so they do. No organ means at all. No inside liver, no inside shenanigans. Uh-uh. Not even external shenanigans. Ugh. <laughs> hey, you like that meal? It's great. What what is it? <laughs> ass. Sheep ass, to be exact. <laughs> With a little fermented fish sauce. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Metallic. It is. Sorry, Mason. I know. Y'all like chitlins. Elby loves chitlins. Actually, her husband loves chitlins. Yeah, the men menudo, right, has the intestines in it. Hi, B. You're not blocked. Um, I do like menudo without the nudo. <laughs> I just like the chickpeas, the broth, and whatever else is in it. Take out the intestines, take out the bull balls, and take out the ass. I'm good. Uh, no. GSR, I'm never eating at your house. Don't invite me. Ever. Because I know this girl would have everything on a platter. Deep fry it. Fancify it. Girl, I made you a great meal. You want some sake? Tequila? What do you need? We need to loosen you up a little bit so you trust me. <laughs> That's all right. I ate before I came, girl. I'm good. I'm good. Kitchen work never ends. Heather, that's why you just don't cook. <laughs> when you cook, that begins all the problems. Yep. Liver and onions. Ugh. Pozole. I like the pozole with all the shit out of it. I don't know. Give me an intestine. Don't give me anything that looks like it came from something other than can't can you know we only eat intestines like every you make your son eat intestines how many kids you got do you make them eat anus <laughs> my mama made me eat anus when I was little <laughs> it was a little rubbery <laughs> don't eat anus no I, what Congo no that's not normal meat <laughs> It's not normal. It might be normal in the Asian food market, but ain't normal to buy. Uh-uh. It was only, you know what? I don't trust all that shit. You know what? I'll take just Top Ramen for a hangover. Top Ramen works great. <laughs> the Oriental for a lever. Shit, can I say Oriental? They changed it. So it used to be the one in the blue, um, the blue package, it was oriental. It's what it said. Now it's something else. What's it now? Because they can't say oriental. However, they still say oriental trading post, which is that magazine we used to order shit for our kids' birthday parties. What's it called now? Does anybody know? Um, I'm a soy flavored. Thank you. Yeah, soy flavored. Um, tripe in a spaghetti. Hey, <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> top ramen, soy. No, Christopher, they don't. It's soy flavor. They can't say oriental anymore. God forbid. Um, Lord. <sighs> so it is soy. Unless you found one that still says it, but it's an anomaly if you did. And my Dan's wife, not no more. Menudo is cow stomach. Yep. No, thank you. Sorry, Bob. Um, I felt this morning like lady. <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, it was a couple months ago. Prove it. I don't believe it until I see a picture. You know that. I tried. You should try head cheese. <laughs> what the fuck is head cheese? <laughs> Does it come out of an ass? Does it come out of your urethra? <laughs> um, I don't want it. Balut is the main. What is balut? Give it to me in normal wording. <laughs> Balut is not something I understand, nor do I recognize. Tell me what it is. <laughs> do I want to know? Would you like some Balut with your... No. 
Uh uh, unless you tell me what it is. Uh, probably cheap ship. <laughs> but the bird is. It's a bird? It's a bird? It's a bird? It's all the extra parts of a cow or goat head congealed in a life low, low, flow, flow. No. <laughs> I don't. You know what? I like congealed hot dogs. That's about it. A baby bird fetus? What the fuck? What? <laughs> Why? You eating a baby? No. <laughs> uh. What? GSR. No. Absolutely not. Beak. Feathers. It's a fully formed embryo of a bird with the egg. You eat everything you crack and just put it in your mouth. What the fuck? And I don't want cheese in a fucking loaf either. The fetus with the meatus. Uh uh. Uh uh. What the hell is wrong with you people? This is what you eat. This is what you eat. GSR. <laughs> it depends on the breed. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, hold on. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> hold on a second. G <laughs> GSR said, the Blutus, it depends on the fetus. It depends on the species. It depends. Some of them have feathers, some of them do not. It just depends on the species of the Blutus. Y'all. <laughs> Woo! Okay, can you tell me really quick, and then I gotta move on because my stomach's feeling a little queasy. Do you crack it and just dump it in your mouth? It's Southern Asian food. I don't fucking care what it is. Do you, how do you eat it? Do you need some Blutus with your waffles, Heather? It's organic to go along with your organic berries. Chicken, no, just uh, answer my fucking question. Listen, girl, how you eat it? How do you eat it? No cow's tongue is not good. You just crack it down the hatch like a shot. Do you chew it? Do you just swallow? Is it like a, is it like a, uh, um, uh, oyster you just swallow does the beak scratch on the way down you grab a spoon crack the end put sauce on it and slurp it away do you hold on do you chew or do you swallow GSR is and the other person who said I love balut. What's wrong with the balut? <laughs> it's just a little baby embryo. Some with feathers, some without. My mouth salivating because I'm ready to puke. Y'all, like, what? Ugh. <laughs> uh, I like a side of balut on my waffles. Yep, I just crack the egg, I pour it on, and I let it soak in, and then I chomp away. Crunch, crunch. Ugh. <laughs> oh, shit balls. She had balut, Kim? Oh, my God. <laughs> she had a balut. Oh, my God. GSR. Girl, I thought menudo was bad. Tesole, <laughs> liver and onions. 
<laughs> yeah, who's hungry? Not me. That just completely took away my appetite. Thank you, GSR. Cobble ready immediately. <laughs> fermented fish sauce to go with it. Little lamb and little pepper. Yum. How many do you eat? <laughs> do you eat just one? I mean, do you get like a dozen? Is it like oysters on a half shell? Balut on a half shell. Would you like a full order of balut or would you like a half order? Would you like 12 or six? Nothing like a baby fetus in the morning or lunch to get you going. Great source of protein. Great source of, uh, I don't know, calcium. <laughs> it's the breakfast of champions. <laughs> a baby bird <laughs> with feathers. I'll take mine with feathers, please. I want feathers, preferably gray, if you got one in there. I like gray, I like the gray feathers on my bal balutes. Yeah, can you hand pick them? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> it's better than Ozempic. <laughs> Fuck Ozempic with all the side effects. <laughs> uh, GSR, I love being able to laugh at your expense. Girl, you provide some great entertainment. That is for damn sure. I appreciate you for that. I love you for that. And I love the way you speak to trolls. I just love you, girl. I love you. Hot sauce. You, pa you butchered animals? and package them on farms. Girl, you didn't even live in your country. Aren't you Americanized? You did that in America? Oh, I don't know. What the hell did you come into? Balut. Caroline, it's a delicatessen. It could cure your cold right now. A balut, B-A-L-U-T. It's not the Kamana Chubi wand. Oh, what was the wand? Y'all, have you ever heard of this wand? What is it called? Uh, I secretly miss the trolls. Me too. What's the, what's the wand? Christopher, spell the wand again. The comma. Jesus is king. I don't think we believe in kings in this country. The magic wand. No, it's not called the magic wand. It's called, what's the, Hitachi. Have y'all heard of the Hitachi wand? Have y'all heard of the Hitachi wand? Be honest. Kelsey, don't go broke. It's been a while, so you should have 50 cents. Thank you. 50 cents. 60, 70 cents. Keep it going, girl. I need that to replace my money I lost at the casino. Um, did you, what, the Hitachi wand. Do you know what a Hitachi wand is? Um, look it up. Y'all, I was thinking about selling them on my site. A Hitachi wand. Mm -hmm. A Hitachi. It uh, vibrates. It's a wand. It, um, you can put it anywhere on your body. You know what I mean? Anywhere. There's reviews. I have a friend who likes to uh, meander it around his anus. Uh-huh. Great, since we're speaking of anus. Um, likes to massage his anus for better sphincter control. Better sphincter control. Uh-huh. He also likes to dabble around the blueberries. Uh huh. It helps shake up those baby making seeds because he don't want no more babies. So it gives him a good, you know, banging. So it protects him from any um, infiltration into an egg. Uh huh. Um, it also can be used for the neck muscles. It could be used for any muscles that are sore. It could also bring life back to the labia, to the bean, to the vagina, whatever you like to call it. Um, it's been known to spark a little tingle in places you didn't know you even had. You didn't even know you had. It comes alive. It's like a bear waking up out of hibernation. You know, big stretch. Wow, I miss this place. It's what you're supposed to feel. Hitachi. Look it up. In many colors, many shapes, many sizes. For your pleasure only. Or your partner's. 
Because they come in hot. She's going to be done for the month already. She's like my gambling. She, her limits are so much done at the beginning of the month. Yep. And then she's going to be ghost me. And then next month it'll be a new month. It's kind of like how I do my gambling money. I lose it all in the first couple weeks. <laughs> Fuck. Um, anywho, look it up. Enjoy it. You have to pay your bunch of dues. Hey, send me one of those Hitachi wants. No, I don't want one. I'm just kidding. Do not send me one of those. Nobody send me a Hitachi wand. I don't need to wake anything up. I don't want to wake it up. I don't want to shake it up. And I don't want my partner to get overexcited with it. You know what I mean? Those people, the men in our lives, they get one little thing, they're like, ooh, what's that for? The vagina? Ooh, can I play? No, uh-uh. <laughs> No Hitachi wants for me. Uh uh. I do not. Um. I. Do, um. Sometimes these comments, I'm like, what the fuck? What are you uh, talking about? First cut, then I might be better than watching dads. It is three donkeys and a monkey. Ooh. Three donkeys and a monkey. Now that's a handle name. Three donkeys and a monkey. We're talking about wands, and you come on with a handle name saying three donkeys and a monkey. Wow. <laughs> By the rose. I like pink. <laughs> I, like, I like pink. I like them small. <laughs> I don't like them too big. I like average. <laughs> you know? Um, average is fine. It works fine. Um, my, my neck muscles are quite sore. Three, <laughs> three kids and my lady. <laughs> You call, you call your kids donkeys. <laughs> and your lady's a monkey? Oh, I think I would take offense to that. I think my kids were jackasses. Well, they are jackasses, to be fair. But the wife being a monkey? I don't know. I would have a problem with that. You, my little monkey. Huh? <laughs> no, I don't like that. Uh-uh. Good morning, Trent. <laughs> I'm kind of okay with the, the kid, though. I can, I can see them being donkeys. Um, I can see them being donkeys. I'm going to start calling my kids donkeys. Because they're all jackasses. They sure are. Can I have... Can I... Three donkeys and a mule? Can my husband be a mule? What's the king of the donkeys? The mule? Can Dan be the mule? Does that still make him a jackass but a, a higher functioning jackass um three donkeys and a mule and the mule's father <laughs> oh david poor david what <laughs> conversation but I, I gotta go hunt down my Adachi. Have fun. Get a good one. You're tapped out. <laughs> oh fuck my life. Good. The big old G I don't know. I don't know. I can't. Y'all are too funny this morning. I cannot. I gotta go track down Hitachi. It's an easy one push button order. <laughs> you know it makes it you go on the Hitachi site. Tell them Danielle Salinger sent you. Um, no, I'm just kidding. I have no sponsorships, but I should. <laughs> is it a higher functioning jackass? A mule. Is it still a jackass? So it's bigger than the donkeys. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Three donkeys and a mule and a father. <laughs> oh, and an old guy. I like that better. What's an old mule? <laughs> <laughs> Am I Vietnamese, Raj? I don't think so. Um, <clears throat> oh, are you not calling me beautiful? Uh, anywho. Um, <laughs> if you want to wake up the vulva, may I suggest the Hitachi wand for you? It comes in many shapes, sizes, and speeds. <laughs> and colors. You too can awaken the inner soul of your body. True story. It's great. It travels, folds, 
it moves and it's cordless now back in the day it used to have a big gaping plug not no more it is free you can take it in the bathtub you can take it on the toilet you can take it upstairs you can take it outside uh-huh you can take it to the beach just be careful don't get sand in the cooter <laughs> Hi, Karen. Uh, Y'all crazy. Y'all make me crazy. It's your... <laughs> How are the lady today? They're hanging, they're flapping, and they're slapping. They're a little moist after a, a quick little run walk. But other than that, we're doing good. They are happy. But the anus is not so happy right now. Again, I'm having a little bit of problem with the anus. The sphincter muscles have loosened up. They are not tight like they used to be. Um, anyhow, here comes the wave again, coming up my mouth like a vomit truck. What are you talking about the wave? What's the wave? The wave of not feeling good. Did he give you too much kissing? Too much kissing. Uh, I put the shit out in the... I couldn't find it. Hi, Brittany Brown. Oh, I'm sore from yesterday. Uh, she was arrested on the beach for masturbation. Oh, yikes. Girl, you got to be more discreet. Put, get under a blanket. Get under a... And don't say anything. Uh, you too, David. <clears throat> yes, the flu wave. All right, y'all. I got to go take a shower. I got to clean the labia. I got to clean the anus. And I got to clean my pits and tits. So I am out. You guys have a great day. Um, wherever the day takes you a TikTok, I will try to do a subscriber live either today or tomorrow. Um, just, I, I need to see where I'm feeling, how I'm feeling and what I'm doing later. Uh, I got a new book, Samantha. I'm getting ready to watch it. Nope. Read it. It's called reminders of him. I think, is that what it's called? I think so. Anywho, have a great Saturday. TikTok, I'll see you later probably because I have an early day. I can't imagine that unless we go out on date night. I don't know yet. You know, everything's last minute around here. Anywho, love you. Have a great one. Peace.